This bit should be a little bit different, because obviously Aaron wasn't here for that. Stay close to me. She was dead. Who says self-help books don't... Charlie threw it down here earlier. Of course he did. Bitch. This is a thanks I get for saving your ass. Fuck you. I, Everyone I don't sucks. Think that's Jamie. I shouldn't have saved her. Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, I'll save myself the fucking embarrassment. The goddamn... I didn't know that her... Okay, see see how it doesn't really prompt you? I mean, it shows the thing in the corner, but sh shut up. So I go fucking roaming around this goddamn room, trying to find the code in the next room. The spare room, if you will. I was looking high and low. I didn't, I don't remember seeing that pencil thing. So I'm going through like this fucking book. Trying to put the numbers together. Wait, hey, look at this. What? It's a true crime book. Look at the author. Joseph Morello. So the guy on the ferry wasn't you met. I got went through all of this. Insane. So there's not there's nothing in there. If you were curious, that was would pertain to the uh, the next situation. Move. Move. Bethany. Bethany. Is that in the sign-in book? No. Because that was the, the author's Coming kid. Coming from through here. Connie. <clears throat> Might have been for the baby. Same. Please okay. stop crying, Mommy. So where's Daddy? Good year. Six. I don't know. Could only assume. No, oh my God. God damn. That 
some ice cream scooped. Miss Morello. Oh. Um, yikes. Like, I feel like, obviously, I have no idea how the human body would react to such a situation. Well, I guess it's... Okay, yeah, I guess it's essentially cremating. But, I don't know, I feel like it's too open to use a word. It wasn't like I was in a super small chamber. So I feel like I would be looking for some remnants of a body. But maybe that's just me. I don't know. Maybe I'm just fucking weird. Why am I thinking about this happening? I don't know. What a great view. I could squeeze. Surely, okay. Can just go through the door. That's good. It's good to have on hand. You didn't grab the fucking lighter, you stupid. Gardener? Wait. Help me! I can't see a light. It's a fucking fake. Please. They never hurt anyone. Just leave them alone. We'll do whatever you want. I feel like I missed all of the, uh, the FBI things when I initially played through this. Can 
I just go back this way? Oh, they won't let you. Okay. Uh, do I get something? Okay. Now that there's only one way out. It's a good thing this guy takes time doing fucking anything. Jesus Christ. playthrough. Oh. Hold on. Uh, the first time I played this, the, um, I missed the last quick time event input. And I fell, like, onto the, uh, the little roller boys. Oh. But I feel like that was more or less the same as, uh, my first experience. Shit. What's this? Pleased to see you too, Kate. Glad you're alive. Listen, I found out some new information. What? That guy on the ferry? That was not Dumet. That was Joseph Morello. He's a true crime writer. I found one of his books. How's he wrapped up in this? I don't know. Have you seen Mark? Not in person, but I spotted him on one of these monitors. Thank God. I was worried sick about him. But I also saw Dumet running around. 
And you saw him in the room next to you. Why do you not bring that up? You make it seem like it was just on a... He's got video feeds, recording decks, a mixer big enough for countless mics. He's watching everything. It's more than that. He's got utilities running through here, hydraulics, electrics, everything. It's like a nerve center for the whole building. It's a director's suite. Maybe we can use it to find a way out. Look for something to unlock the outer doors. This all connects. This is how he's getting around the house. This? This is a lock. Take a look at this. What is that? The guy we saw murdered. It was a setup? There was no groundskeeper. Why would he do that? To scare us. To get us in the mood for his fun and games. Nice. Charlie would say this guy is a fractured psyche, that he's wearing a mask to put what he's doing on a different personality. That's probably just his theory, because he can't reconcile a human doing this stuff. What are you... Chicago Police! Mr. Monday, this is Chicago Police. Can you open the door, please? Mr. Monday, I'm Officer Stanley with Chicago Police Department. Can you hear me, sir? Agent Monday. This is Officer Stanley. I, I need assistance at 8 West 50th Street, requesting immediate backup. I'm in Agent Monday's apartment. There's, there's blood everywhere and, and a body. I need immediate support. I think... Oh, there we go. Okay. So it is Monday. He's right? not wired like the rest of us. What's the difference? Crazy implies out of control. Look at this place. <laughs> this is methodical. That's not crazy. No. <laughs> Wait, he's wearing the mask as part of the performance. At best, maybe he's insecure about something and it gives him confidence. Insecure? Like low <laughs> self esteem? Is he uncomfortable at parties? Does, did his mommy not hug him enough? Probably. Bad parenting can definitely be a factor. But I mean, it could be a shitty dad just as much. Or an uncle. Any adult figure, really. Will this be... No, nope, you know what? I'm not even going to say it. Not even going to say it. And potentially jinx anything about the rest of my playthrough of this game. But now that we know to do the stupid pencil shit. Don't you read any of our research? Mm, I just set up the lights. I'm sure he fits the profile. Bullied as a kid, unchecked anger. As an adult, he's either an extreme overachiever or a cipher. Nothing between. He likes being in a position of power, especially Don't over women. Loss but after why this? Why else? On a sundial. Like the unhealthy obsession with H.H. H. Holmes? He's copying the M.O. Clearly, he identifies with Holmes somehow. Dying via sundial is insane. How did he build all this? Can we use this gear to find a way out? Maybe we can open those shutters in the lobby. 
This... This is everything about me. Jesus. Ferryman? What does that mean? Damn, her allergy list is long. I get that. Does... Oh, there we go. Borderline narcissist. Huh. Yeah, that's weird. I would classify as weird. And that. That is also weird. He's profiling us. Chicago. Trying to think of how this would be different now that there's three of us. I mean, I'm sure it's gonna kind of go through the same events, but I don't know if there's... Well, whatever. You know what? We'll just experience it together. And maybe you'll be able to tell when I'm genuinely surprised again. Because I remember a lot of this stuff. Oh. I don't think I ever looked at this... Man went down to the fabrics. What is this? Hi, Mr. Monday. This is Lucinda Price from Twilight Prairie Care Home. I tried to call you a couple of times. We, uh, I, I just have a really voice from your mother. And we should believe you're supporting relatives. And of course, you want to come. Over here! Look at this. It saw his little tricks of moving walls and crap. Nothing in this shit box is real. He controls everything from here. It's a murder factory. You're right. We should use this against him. All right. What's your plan? Okay, look. He's in here, right? So we got him to go down this hall, and we trap him between these two moving walls. There's no other way out of there. He'd be stuck. So, how do we get him to go down that hall? One of us is going to have to be bait. No, no way. It's too risky, Jamie. So is letting him run free. I'd say that's more dangerous. Come on. No, no, no way. If something goes wrong, one of us will be dead. Yeah, I'm not super into doing it. But I am done being scared of what's around every corner. There's no second chances here. Who's gonna do it? It's my plan. I'll be the bait. Jamie, no. Let's find another way. You don't have to do this. One of us has to. If you're sure, just... If it looks like it's going south, get the hell out of there. No argument here. You could use that as a weapon if need be. I'm gonna mm -hmm. hang on to it. I'm more likely Good. to need it. Please come back. Aww. That's my plan. Okay. That's enough of a moment. Let's do this. Stick to the plan. Obviously. So how do we get out? Third floor must be a work in progress. Okay, be ready. You're gonna have to time it right to trap him and not me. Be careful, please. I'm on it. You'll be careful? If I see Demet, he'll wish I hadn't. Don't. Be serious, please. Just tell me you'll be careful. Tell me I'll see you again. Erin, I promise. You'll see me again. Good, because I think I, I think I love you. Oh, I missed or that. Something. 
I, I mean... Well, now I have to come back. Huh? All right. Here goes nothing. <sighs> okay. Head down the hall. Keep to the right. Was this on the map? Yeah, I would have shit my pants. Like, I'd be pantsless at this point. There'd be no no reason for me to still, uh... Still have those fucking slop... Slops? More rooms being built. Slacks? Slops? Slacks? Huh. Floppy slacks? I don't fucking know. Ooh, a different color to balloon. Oh, no, it's the same. Just rendered in funny. Oh, over a hundred. Big success. Hi, ya. Dude, that man got like a running start. The room ends like right over there. God damn. Open the door. Open the door. What's up, punk ass bitch? Oh. Ah, oh, there he is. I was like, I did that the last time, too. I looked to, like, the other room. He's so fucking slow. I looked to the right, and I completely missed the reveal. She's running. I don't understand. Ah. Uh. I think I think this is the same as what I picked. It didn't give me the quick time. Kate, hang on, please. Ba 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 ba. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah. Like, I think just run into, like, the next available. Like, Jamie! So, wait, where is. Shit! So, where's Aaron? Now. What is it? A button. There's a reverse symbol on it. What, what, what does it. Squeeze! No. What do you, what do you move like you were gonna blow that shit out? Jamie! Uh, Kay, I think, I think when I hit this thing, the wall will go the other way. Towards me? You mean? Yeah, this thing will kill me if I don't press it. Wait! I know, if I do press it, then you're the one that dies. God damn, do that! This is exactly stick what he wants, he's making you choose which one of us dies. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Suck this. I'm not playing this game. I can't do this. I won't kill you. The fucking the lifeless stare. Jamie? I'm not doing it. I'm not playing this game. Look out for Aaron. For me. Promise. I promise. Oh, fuck. I'm Jamie. Thank you. Thank you. Survive, okay? I feel like that's what my back needs. Don't even. What an excruciating way to go. Fuck you. Jamie wouldn't press the button. She chose to spare Kate at the cost of her own life. Mm. Admirable. People can surprise you sometimes. Meanwhile, I, mean, I feel like Charlie it wasn't super surprising because capable, uh, surviving the furnace I and chose every it to other happen, obstacle. Guess, but, you know. Who would have thought it? Perhaps you regret not taking me up on the offer of a hint earlier. Would you like one now? No, keep your fucking shitty ass hints. I see. You're on your own then. You should get back. I hope these chats are helpful. I certainly wouldn't want them to be intimidating. I'll be watching your progress. As always, watching very closely.